And I love that we're celebrating like with the whole family. Yes. So tell us about your family bench project. Yeah, this is an awesome thing to do with the family to get them involved. Yeah. So this is a can be a simple project. We find one of the keys here, find instructions that you can follow. Yes. Now, typically <laughs> guys aren't very good at following instructions, <laughs> but if you have that, if you're not a super experienced DIYer, Follow, find some instructions that you can follow. It goes together really easy, and you can make a bench for bench for inside or outside. This one's gorgeous. Yeah, so this one Love is a it. little bit for the more experienced DIYer. I think so. But really, it just breaks down to building a frame. So the bottom frame is just some two by fours screwed together, and I cut the back of them on a 10 degree angle. Okay. So that way we could have this a little bit slant bench, you know, Lean. feel comfortable. Right. And then I've used some pieces of poplar as the seat and the back. So poplar is a little okay. bit more of a denser, stronger material which yeah. makes for a better seat. Okay. Once you've done that, you just screw on some arms, slap some stain on it, and it's ready to go. You picked a lovely stain too. Can I? You, you can. can. Is this made for TV or is it made for real life? <laughs> okay. I mean, slightly for TV. We put some temporary oh, okay. legs on it. Oh, so these aren't real legs. Just temporary. <laughs> but they're working. It's very nice. It's very nice. I love the whole thing. So you could put legs on it, yeah. or you could do what Joey did for his wife and make it a porch swing for Valentine. Valentine's Day. Did you literally make your wife a porch swing for Valentine's Day? Literally. Oh I can't, my well, goodness. I can't lie to you. I didn't make it. I bought one. I hung it though. <laughs> doesn't I did all the work. It doesn't you're matter. Not... <laughs> you're still in. This is why you're still married. Exactly. That's fabulous. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so that's what this is about, eh? Exactly. So you've got yeah. the chain there. If you do want a swinging porch swing, you need to make sure you have a heavy, heavy gauge chain. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want it falling down. Now, one of the biggest parts here, you can see this eye hook that's yep. threaded is that attachment point to the ceiling. Yes. Uh, if you have an overhang on the porch that you're gonna mount to, make sure that you're into something structural. So you may have right. to pull down the aluminum, find the wood that's up there. You may have to add some blocking, but it's very yes. important to make sure that that point is very solid because that's what's holding up the bench. Okay, <laughs> well we tried this at our house to hang a fern and it was not solid. Right. <laughs> so no swinging porch bench for us yeah. on our porch. <laughs> but if you, can, if you can swing it, pun intended, <laughs> I think that's a lovely gift. That's right. really yeah. nice to have, yeah. Okay, so you've got another one for us. Yes, so for the less experienced DIYer, this one is super, super simple. Mm -hmm. I actually put this together with my 10-year-old son. Oh. So he helped me cut all the pieces because they're just straight cuts, so it's nice and easy to do. Okay. And again, this is all out of two by four material and costs about $50 in material to put together. Awesome. So you're gonna cut some two by fours down to four feet or however long you want your bench to be. Mm -hmm. Then we've got these uh, pieces here, which are three quarter inch spacer material. Okay. So you're gonna cut that to the height you want the bench to be, which is around 18 inches as a comfortable bench height. That's normal, like standard. Yeah. 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 And okay. then you've got your two by four supports here as well. So you're gonna take three and a half inches off that 18 for yeah. 14 and a half. And it's a lot of math there happening. <laughs> it's only Woo! three pieces of wood you're okay. cutting, okay? Yeah. Like, again, it's all about having a good plan, right? Because right. once you have these pieces cut, you just have to assemble a puzzle. So you build these, you got these pieces of two by four, and then you got the three quarter piece that's obviously going to use shorter screws yeah. to attach these together, make a bunch of these puzzle pieces, uh -huh. and then you're just gonna build a puzzle and you're gonna screw it together while you do it so it doesn't fall apart out. So would you say it's so easy that like anyone in the audience could do it? Yes. Absolutely. Jenny, come on up from the City Live audience. Good. Jenny, before we get you started, are you the handy one at home? Well, I'm second. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Jake, first. You did some. You do some power tool stuff yes. at home. You yes. can tell I'm not the handy one. Like, how <laughs> did I even say that? Some power tool stuff. Okay. So, what's Jenny yes. gonna do? All right. So, we're gonna get you to screw these together. Okay. So, there's two different types of drills. This is kind of the old school conventional drill that people are used to. Um, we usually only use this for drilling out holes now. Right. Now we've got an impact drill to make drilling easier. So, it's gonna take the torque out of it for you to put that. drill Drill in nice and easy. Yep. So you hold that. Awesome. We're gonna hold this in place and you're gonna put in these screws there. Sure. And that is going to be attaching our puzzle. She's like, whatever, I've done it a million times. Yes. <laughs> right. oh, reverse. Sorry, I, I put it on reverse for you to <laughs> see you. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. All right, one more screw down there. Jenny, pause for one second. I wanna make sure we can see your handy oh, work. Sure. And you can go. Like a pro. Ooh, Look at oh, that. <laughs> Where's my yeah, glasses? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Awesome. That's yeah. it. She <laughs> she's Jenny from You're the welcome. block. Very More? nice. <laughs> no, I, I mean, we should good. just hire you. Give you it up for Jenny. She did that so easily. Yeah. Thank you. Loves it. Okay. Nice, easy. 
easy puzzle. Oh, super easy, and that's yeah, all you need to do. Okay, so you also have one for folks that want it to be like super duper easy, which is this one, and I think it's lovely. That yeah. one's fairly easy to put together. And yeah? this is just thirty-five dollars worth of material. We've Beautiful. got one piece of two by four and a two by twelve on top. Stain it up. And that's a very simple build as well. Yeah. We've got instructions for this on uh, online so people Beautiful. can find out if you do want to build something cheap and easy and yeah. play with tools. Cityline.tv for that. Exactly. So now we're going to get into personalizing them. Let's do so that. So you can see on that one we put the little home sweet home stencil. And Beautiful. stenciling is actually pretty easy to do. Right. You can buy these stencils at your local craft store. You can print them out online. There's lots of different options to be able to do it. If you are printing them out, just make sure it's a thicker material yeah. so that the paint isn't going to destroy it when you put it together. Okay. Then you want to have <coughs> some light tack adhesive. Yeah. So this is a light tack, not a glue, so it's not going to stick forever. Good. <laughs> and you just want to spray that stencil. There's a difference. That's not what you want. You yeah. want to you want to use it as a stencil, not as a permanent. Right. And you can save it with the kids too. Nobody's Probably. gluing their fingers together. Right. <laughs> then you're going to take that stencil. Where do we want it? it? Let's go right there. I like it. Put Perfect. it onto your bench. Yeah. And make sure you push in around each letter because we don't want the paint to ooze out from that. You want right. it to stay within the stencil. I feel like I can do it, but now you're you're make, you're put, giving me pressure. <laughs> Let's go, Tracy. I don't want Let's anything go. to ooze. We're we gonna get you painted. Don't worry. Okay. That's so beautiful. next is the paint. So you're not gonna want to use a traditional paintbrush with this. Okay. Because then you end up putting paint all over the wood. Right. So what we have here is a little sponge dabber. Dip that in the paint and make sure that you dip it over here as well. Once you have paint on. Oh, I see. To like get take some off. off. Exactly. Yeah. Dabby, dabby, you just dabby. gotta stay within the lines, Tracy. Can you oh, paint within the lines? Oh, I think I can do it. <laughs> I'll jump in and I give think you a I can little do hand it. here. It's too. a family activity. Let's get all. Let's oh, all no. do Shall it. Shall we just grab the end of the Sorry, put Jenny, the paint you should have stayed. <laughs> this part's fun. So you can do whatever stencil you want. You can put your family's <laughs> last name if you're one of those special families that only has one last name. Yep. <laughs> I wish our family was simple like that. <laughs> I feel like there's too many names flying around. Okay, so we got. You dab it on. Family. Then you peel. If mine it looks off. weird, I was trying to be artistic, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this. And you have one more thing that you might want to think of doing um, if you want to sort of mark the kids as they grow. What would that be? Yes. So if you want to, <laughs> handprints are fun and I love Oh, good. Them. You do that so one. So <laughs> if you want to see your kids' hands grow on the bench, really make this a nice, fun family project. Just paint their hands. Kids the love kids this. would love oh. that. Every time I paint their room, they just want to paint their hands and do hand Of print. course they do. Paint it on nice and thin. Yeah. And then just... Hand print oh, on. there he is. Look at Dave is growing so girl. nicely. Hi, Paul. No, <laughs> Maybe not. Cheers to you, bro, Loss. Yes. That was fantastic. What a great project for Valentine's Day for